Number 81. What is the H3O plus concentration in a solution of 0.075 molar of HNO2 and 0.030 molar of NaNO2? Then they give us a balanced equation with the Ka value. Okay, now for these, let's just write down what we're given. They gave us 0.075 molarity of HNO2, and then they gave us 0.0 three zero molarity of Na NO2. Okay. Now usually when we see these equations, we only had one of either an acid or a base, right? We only had one value starting off with. But here now we have two of them. So in this case, we have HNO2, right? And I know that HNO2, there's a H in front of it, so this has to be an acid. So I'm just going to put that this is an acid. And it's a weak acid. HNO2 is not one of my, uh, you know, six strong acids. So it's a weak acid. And in order to make this work, generally, we hook up the conjugates. So here, I notice that I have NaNO2. Now, I notice that this is a salt because I see that I have a metal here. I see that I have sodium. So this kind of breaks up into two components. I have the Na and then I have the NO2. Now in order for this to work, the acid should have a conjugate base, right? Now which component of the salt is the conjugate base? Keep in mind that the conjugate base is very similar looking to the acid. So if the acid is HNO2, is the Na the conjugate base, or is the NO2 the conjugate base? Yeah, it's the NO2. That's the conjugate base. And we could say that this is a conjugate pair. So we have a conjugate pair. And I could basically get rid of the sodium, because the thing that I really care about is the NO2. That's the conjugate of HNO2. Now, if you have concentrations of an acid-base conjugate pair, which we have, and both of these are weak acids and weak spaces, which they are, they're not on my list of six, we have a buffer solution. And when you have a buffer solution, especially if they're asking for acidic components, the easiest way to answer this question is to use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. And the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation is this one right here. And I'll put that over here. pH equals pKa plus the log of the concentration of the base divided by the acid. And it's a good thing that we identified which one is the base and which one is the acid. Because now I know that the acid, the 0.075, is going on the bottom. And the 0.030 is going up on the top. But now... I have to either solve for pH or pKa. Now they gave me a Ka value. So from a Ka value, I can find a pKa value. Here's a new formula that we should remember. Probably your teacher or professor won't give this to you on the exam. So pKa equals the negative log of the Ka. And maybe I'll just put that over here. So they told us that the pKa, uh, that, that, bleh. <laughs> that the Ka is 4.5 times 10 to the negative fifth, right? It's this value right here. So from there, I could find the, the pKa value for this question. All I gotta do is negative log of 4.5 times 10 to the negative fifth. So let's figure it out. Negative log, 4.5 times 10 to the negative fifth. I get 4.5. Let's round it 3, 5, right? 4.35, yes. Okay, and this is the number that goes here. And now I have everything except to find out for the pH. So we could just solve that. pH equals 4.35 plus the log of 
the base divided by the acid. So it's 0 0.030 divided by 0 0.075. And good thing about this, this equation is that if you put this all into the calculator in one step, chances are the calculator will understand what you're trying to do, and you'll get the, the right answer in one step. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say 4.35 plus the log of 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.075. And let's just say that it's 3.952 because that's not the correct answer yet. So I want to give myself a little, a little uh, room for sig figs. Now, this isn't the answer because they're asking for the H3O plus concentration. So I say, hmm, I just found out a pH. How do I go from a pH to a H3O plus? Well, keep in mind that H3O plus and H plus are synonymous, right? So in this formula that I have written down here, I have H plus, but you could just said H3O plus and it would have been the same exact thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this out and get rid of this. And essentially, we just found out that pH value, so I could plug it in into this equation, 3.952. The H plus concentration is 10 to the negative pH. So H plus equals 10 to the negative 3.952. And the H plus is 10 raised. Oop, that's not 10, that's log. <laughs> okay, there we go. 10 to the negative 3.952. And now we'll give two sig figs. So we'll say 1.1. 1.1 times 10 to the negative fourth, and that is molarity. And there you go. So this formula helps out a lot. And it helps out because we're asking for acidic things. If they're asking for basic things, which we'll see in probably, I think, the next question, we're going to do the question a little bit different. So. This equation is based off of acidity, pHs, pKas. So when they ask for basic properties, we're going to do it a little bit differently. So hang tight, and I'll show you guys how to do that in a little bit. If you guys are on the playlist, uh, we'll, we'll be doing that in like five seconds. Okay? All right. Please help us out. Press the subscribe button in the meantime, and I'll see you shortly. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.